Now in this section we'll talk about gateway load balancing protocol. It's one of the redundancy protocol which we can use apart from HSRP and VRRP. Now if you talk about the previous protocols, we already discussed much more in detail about the previous protocol. The major difference between the previous two protocols and this protocol is the GLBP support load balancing, which means if you have multiple gateways which are connected in the LAN and we can simultaneously forward the traffic through all the gateways. But in case of previous two methods which we used, we can only forward one will be a primary and all the remaining will be backup. So which means at a time only one gateway can actually forward the traffic for one group. Now we can also we also did some advanced HSRP implementations where we have created two groups, one one primary gateway, this will be primary for one group and this will be primary for other group. But for a single group, both cannot be forwarding. But that is something what supported in GLBP. So we'll get into that more in detail in this section. Apart from that, we also get into more in detail about this AVG and AVF concepts. Like uh, in our HSRP, we have two gateways, let's say, and out of these two gateways, one will be your active gateway, which means which is going to actively forward the traffic. And the second one, we call it as standby. In case of VRRP, the terminology will be a master and backup. But here, in case of GLBP, we are going to call as AVG, active virtual gateway, and we have something called AVF. AVG, AVF stands for active virtual forwarder. Now, the difference is, AVG and AVF both are actually forwarding the traffic. Let's let's say let's say this is my physical gateway here. Now here AVG is the one who is going to control the MAC entries. Now when we say AVG, so now here every router will be AVF. Active virtual forwarder means every router is going to forward the traffic. Everyone, everyone is going to forward the traffic, but there is one who is controlling all these active virtual forwarders or AVFCs. AVG is the one who is going to assign the virtual MAC address to all the other AVFCs. Now, simultaneously, we can have four gateways for one group, and we just have only one virtual IP for all these gateways. Let's say, in my examples, I'll be using 192.168.1.50, but each and every gateway will be assigned a separate virtual MAC address. So, which means here, if I have four physical gateways, I will be having four separate virtual MAC addresses. And different routers will have a, a different virtual MAC address and, this, and the send in answer to the ARP for the virtual IP address. Now, AVG is the one who is going to reply to the ARP messages which are coming from the LAN and it's going to ensure that it goes from multiple gateways. So, it is like a controller who is going to control, who is going to answer all your ARP requests for that virtual IP and ensuring that it goes through your multiple AVFs. So when it comes to configuration, the configuration is more similar to your HSRP configuration. So you can see all the commands start with GLBP and any group number you can use. Authentication command is more similar to that one. Preemption is by default disabled. We can enable the preempt. Timers default is three and the date time is 10 seconds, but we can change it to uh, one second and three seconds as per our requirement and the default priority value will be 100 but if you want a specific router let's say i want to make sure that router one should be my avg and router one router three should be my avf and this will also will be avf in that case i can i can change the priority value of my router to something more than 100 let's say 120 in my example and then you have to define the virtual ip now we see the configurations on the avf the router three Again, the same configurations except priority value because uh, we are not defining the priority value, which means it's going to take the default priority value of 100 and 120. So, which will ensure that your router one will be your active virtual, acting as active virtual gateway. At the same time, it is also forwarding the traffic. Let's get into our lab here. Let's try to implement the similar configurations. Now, for implementing the lab, I'm going to use the same uh, routers which I used for all my previous labs so here router 1 and router 3 will be acting as my virtual gateways which are connecting to my LAN on F0 by 0 and I got one router here router 4 in fact I got multiple routers for verification I connected router 5 as well as I connected router 6 which is acting as my end host and from this users we are going to verify to access some internet routes here and from router router 1 we have a default route router 3 we have a default route and from router 3 to router 1 and router uh, 
router 2 to 1 and 2 to 3 we have a static route configured so the entire configurations go similar what we did in our HSRP lab and then on this host I have a command called no IP routing because I'm not going to use these routers as a normal routers they will be used as a host and then I have configured all these routers with a default gateway of 192.168.1.50 so this is something pre-configured in my lab here which which is the same like whatever I did in HSRP so I'm not getting into that configurations so these things are already configured in my lab so I'll quickly verify here the connectivity between all the host first I'll try to check from router 1 I'll try to ping to my other gateway which is 192.168.1.200 that is router 3 I should see the reply so router 1 and 3 both the gateways are able to communicate with each other and also I'll try to verify my host in the LAN which is 192.168.1.1 which is my router 1 here so I'm getting a reply and also I have one more host router 2 sorry not router 2 it's router 4 5 6 and 1.3 as I said, I, I have multiple hosts connected in my LAN, which is not mentioned in the diagram here. So for verification, I connected multiple routers here. This is my router 5, and then I got router 6. So the IP addressing will be 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.2, 1 1.3, and all are configured with a gateway of 192.168.1.50 as per my requirement. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll try to do some basic GLBP configurations and it's very easy to configure just like go to the interface connecting in the LAN and all the commands starts with GLBP group number now we can always use question mark to figure out what are the possible options so let's say I, I want to use authentication so I can say authentication MD5 any password Cisco so MD5 question mark key string or keychain we also we can use so I'm using key string as Cisco is a password now next thing these are optional commands not compulsory required then I can use IP to define the virtual IP I'll come to that IP load balancing also we'll see later on I'm going to enable the preempt to ensure that uh, router 1 will come back to uh, AVG it all it can become AVG if that goes down and come back again and I want to ensure that router 1 should be my uh, my AVG so I'm going to configure the priority value of 120 now the same command which I mentioned in the slide here so I'm just going with the same commands and then so I configure authentication preempt timers I'll also change the timers for faster convergence I'll say timers will be one is hello and the read time is three seconds and then finally I'm going to configure the IP address and that IP is a virtual IP which I'm going to use as 192.168.1.50 done so once I configure this now automatically I should see some messages GLBP messages you can see it's coming up now the same way if I verify do show history commands so I think similar commands I need to go and type on the router 3 except the priority value so I'll copy paste those commands here preemption is enabled and then instead of priority well except that priority value everything I'm going to use the same commands on the router 3 now, now it's time for verification we'll verify first the GLBP configurations now for verification of GLBP I'll go to router 1 and I'll give show GLBP uh, you'll see a big output here now in this output you can see the state is active the virtual IP address is 192.168.1.50 and the hello timers it's more like a similar output what we have seen in HSRP now active router standby routers here active router is local standby is router 3 1.100 and the priority value of that router is this and the, my local priority value is 120 it is also same and waiting will come to this waiting and load balancing options and here you can see there are two virtual MAC addresses created one is for these are actually group members group addresses here one is for 192.168.1.100 and 2.100 so there are two forwarders we have forwarder 1 is our local router and the forwarder 2 is our router 3 and this is the MAC address of the forwarder 2 and this is the MAC address of the forwarder 1 the router 1 and router 3 and the preemption is also enabled and minimum delay is going to take 30 seconds uh, to shift to alternate so there is a default timers 
So everything is same. So even you can verify with a simple output show GLBP brief, which is going to show you what is your virtual IP address and who is your local router and what is the virtual Mac and who is the, what is the remote router, which is in listen state 2.100 and the virtual Mac address of that router. So for verification, what I can do is I can go to my router host routers, which is router 4, router 5, router 6. I'll try to first verify my ARP table show IP ARP you can see already ARP table is there so I'll try to clear it now I'll try to access from router 4 so let's say let's try to verify by accessing show IP ARP if I verify I can see my local MAC address which is 192.161.1 on the router 4 I'll try to trace 12.001 so directly I'll trace it so that I can verify how the packet is traveling you can see first it goes to 1.100 which is my router 1 gateway I'll go to my second host and I'll try to trace uh, before I trace I'll just clear the ARP information because normally this ARP information has to be cleared in order to have a proper testing or verification so I'll say trace 12.001 and you can see it's going to so I need to clear it actually so either you can clear so or else you need to shut down and no shut down the interfaces to get the proper output so I'll come to this load balancing method in general so the default load balancing it uses is round robin so I, I will shut down the interface first and wait for the interface to go down and then no shut down so in this way we can clear the ARP table properly to try to verify now I'll try to trace 12.001 I can see the packet going to 1.200 last time it was 100 and then if I try on the router 6 again it will go via via again the primary gateway that is 1.100 so a uh, round robin fashion it's it's going to load balance I'll come to that load balancing method so let us quickly verify what we did up to now up to now we just configured these commands where we have seen some of the basic BGP GLBP implementations and then we have verified the show GLBP output and finally for verification we can uh, clear the cache and or shut down the interface no shut down the interface that's the best way you can do